give one another hand for Dino Archie. How are, yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Are you guys having a good day? Yeah. All right, good to hear. I was having a bad day earlier. Let me ask you a question. Is it a bad sign when you wake up in the morning contemplating suicide, then your horoscope tells you your new idea is solid? That's not a good birthday. <laughs> 34 now, I don't have any kids. I like kids, I just don't like how people my age, they give their kids last names for first names. I have a friend who has three kids, and their names are McKenna, Hunter, and Finley. Those aren't babies, that's a law firm. <laughs> A lot of people have weird names, though. I was flirting with a lady once. I asked her what her name was, and she said her name was Misty. So I asked her if that was her real name, and she got all defensive. She's like, oh, it's my God-given name. I'm like, yeah, because Misty has such a biblical ring to it. You guys all remember Misty from the Book of Bubba, you know? That was where Jesus turned water into bush light. I have a girlfriend now. She's great. Problem is, we haven't been together for very long, and she's starting to get way too serious. The other night she said to me, I just don't know what my life would be like without you. I said it would be like October. I <laughs> want to get technical about it. She wants to get married. Weddings are such a big deal. Too big of a deal. I was at that store, Yankee Candle, the one where they sell scented candles like clean cotton and autumn breeze. They have a candle there called Wedding Day. If you want to smell a wedding day, don't buy a candle. Light 25 grand on fire? <laughs> then watch the best man throw up on it. Maybe I'm just bitter, though. Yeah. I'm not married. I feel like I'm married, though. I'll tell you why. I have a dog. It's a beagle. Yeah. Yeah, it has those sad eyes. So even though I don't have a wife, I do live with somebody who always looks at me like they're disappointed. <laughs> but never tells me why. And we don't have sex anymore. You know, it's the worst. <laughs> Some of these are just jokes. <laughs> I've never been to Yankee Candle. <laughs> you know, I'm glad you guys seem to like me. Sometimes I make audiences uncomfortable. I've kind of a creepy look. That's not the joke, but I'll go on. The, uh, son of a bad looking guy. I just have dark circles around my eyes. I'm incredibly pale. I look like a good-looking guy, just a good-looking guy who died two hours ago. <laughs> and I like when people laugh, even though it hurts. I, <laughs> I'm creepy in real life. I'm shy. I don't look people in the eye. I was like that when I was a little kid. I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. You guys familiar with this? Yeah. Nobody knew about it when I was little. That meant I had to go to school one day after the teacher had taken the other kids aside and said, listen, don't pick on Matt. He's just a little bit different because he has something called Asperger. <laughs> yeah, you're grown ups and you think it's funny. <laughs> Third graders laugh their balls off. <laughs> I don't know. So, anyway, I saw a fat guy today because I live in America and I was outside with my <laughs> eyes open. He... Had a WWJD bracelet on. What would Jesus do? I don't know, crunches? Uh, have a healthy piece of fish, share it.
I don't want to pick on uh, people who are overweight. I don't do fat jokes. I don't do gay jokes either. I'm not a homophobe. Um, I'm Catholic, but I'm open-minded. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, whatever you do in your bedroom is fine as long as you're ashamed of it. That's... I feel gay sometimes. Like, I like women, I just don't watch sports. And when you tell other guys you don't watch sports, they look at you like you took a penis out of your mouth to say it. Just... <laughs> Who do you think's gonna be in the Super Bowl this year? I don't know, I'm not really into it. Let me be honest with you, I'd rather watch a movie, maybe read a good book. I just really think athletes are crybabies with bad attitudes. And I really, we gotta take all that money they make and give it to our teachers, you know? That's all. Thank you guys so much. That's my time. Matt McLarry, everybody. Matt McLarry, remember that name?